Welcome to FootballGamePlan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook, bring you an NFL matchup in the AFC West between the Kansas City Chiefs and the San Diego Chargers. Now, let's look at the Chiefs coming to this game on the road. You have to think back to week one when they played San Diego. The key element in that game, outside of the rain, was the fact that they were able to run the football with some effectiveness. Guess what, guys? Yes, the Chargers were able to stop the run in the middle of the season, but the teams that wasn't able to stop the run against were the Oakland Raiders and you guys. Here's something that you guys do well, running the football downhill, so expect a lot of carries from Thomas Jones and Jamal Charles, who's already over 1,100 yards. Thomas Jones is slowly approaching 1,000 yards, so that means you guys can run the football real well, and that's gonna help keep that pressure off Matt Castle and allow him to you know, continue to do what he's doing well, is getting the football out of his hands and not turning it over, so that's one thing that's important. That all starts with being able to run downhill against the San Diego Chargers. Now in the passing game, guys, teams, what they're gonna do, they're just gonna bracket Dwayne Bow and roll coverage to his side. So they're gonna force you guys to go to other wide receiver targets. This is where it's important to get guys like Leonard Pope, the other tight end involved, Milwaukee involved. You also gotta get Chambers involved. You gotta get more wide receivers involved in the pass game to help you get help Matt Castle out to look the entire you know field because that's what's causing problems right now in that Chiefs offense. You guys are just one-sided when, when it's time to throw the football and teams know that. Defensively, what you guys have to do, your secondary can play man-to-man -man coverage, but it's up to Ali to put pressure on that uh, offensive line. So you look at the matchup between Tom Ali and Marcus McNeil. That's gonna be the key matchup. If Ali can live in the backfield, that's something that's gonna be key. Now it's up to Studebaker and the rest of these guys on the opposite side, Vrabel, to make plays. Otherwise, Rivers is gonna have all day back there to throw the football. Now you look at the Chargers coming to this game. You guys have to find some type of run game to get going. Denver was able to run the football real well against the Kansas City Chiefs. So there's are, there are opportunities to run the football, especially against the 3-4 defense and what you guys run. And you, got, you guys should know that there is natural bubbles in the 3-4 to run the football, but you guys have to stick with it. I know it's you know chick and cute to get back there and throw the football 45 times a game, but you have to make sure you get some balance in the offense. That's why you guys used to be deadly in the early parts of the 2000s, even up until like last year, you guys ran the football real well with some balance, and that's something you guys have to do again this week, achieve that balance in order to have some success against the Chiefs. Now defensively, what you guys have to do, one thing that's important, you wanna force Matt Castle to beat you guys. I'm not sold on Castle's statistics as far as like 23 touchdowns, four interceptions. I'm still not sold on Castle, guys for Smack Castle to beat you. So how you go about doing that is you front load that run defense, load up to stop the run. You can't allow yourself to get punched in the mouth like you did last week against the Oakland Raiders. Otherwise, you're gonna find yourself in these backed up situations that defense is gonna be on the field entirely too long and your offense won't have the opportunity to come back. And special teams, you have to make big plays because remember, Javier Arenas and Dexter McCluster are two guys that are explosive back there. That's what also killed you in week one. And that's something you can't allow to happen this week because you can't allow the Chiefs to win in all three facets of the game otherwise you're going to find yourself getting further and further lower in the AFC West rankings. I'm going with Kansas City in this game. I think the Chiefs have the solid special teams, have the solid run game and defense. They're active enough to cause problems in the passing game. That's going to prove to be a little bit too much for San Diego to handle. Yes, San Diego will be able to make some plays down the field with their passing attack, but since the Chargers do not run the football real well or with some consistency, it's not going to prove to be enough to beat the Chiefs. For more NFL previews, visit footballgameplan.com slash NFL or visit our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash footballgameplan.